I was like, nah. It's happened again, got the call from skeptics saying that he was dead And I couldn't believe it at first, this ain't reality You just spoke to him last night, how can it be? My mate from the subsea family, big deuce, one fork tongue Just had to leave, another brother dies, the soldiers get tears in our eyes I'm trying to control my head and you wonder why I don't believe in it What made you get into graffiti, um, well, I first got into graffiti when I was about 10. Um, I had an older brother who was into it at the time. Didn't really paint that here, only painted for a few years, but I got used to sit there and play with his, his big sketches and sort of he did a lot of wild style stuff. So I'd, I'd draw, well, I'd just, well, not even draw, I'd just run my finger around it and pretend it was mazes and just play with it. And then when I got older, when I was about uh, 15, 16, I, I, I used to sketch a little bit as well. Um, and then caught the, the train along the Hurstbridge line um, and saw a lot of the amazing stuff that was going on at that time. So this is like uh, late 90s, so a lot of the crews like WCA and all that sort of stuff were doing all their productions and that was really good stuff going on there. So I was inspired by them and they basically just, from seeing their work, they, it made me want to do really good pieces, really do, do massive colourful lettering, yeah. basically. And Wildstyle as well, I was very inspired by Wildstyle. Yeah. Um, what, about, uh, what do you think about the laws of graffiti? The laws of graffiti are subject to, like, the laws of physics. You um, spray the paint and the paint molecules come out of the nozzle and apply themselves. But they also, like, are affected by gravity, so they, they can fall on the way. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I um, yeah, I, I kind of go more along personal ethics, like I don't really believe in um, painting on other people's stuff, so I just treat people how I like to be treated myself. <laughs> I, I like uh, doing characters because you can uh, hide more meaning in them than doing straight letters. I always thought that just writing your own name over and over was a bit egotistical, a bit redundant. So I figured I can hide like some uh, mimetic kind of uh, information inside my characters and then like eat away at people's brains like a virus and they wouldn't really know it. <laughs> You know, they go, oh, that's a cute character, and then they don't realise that there's like an anti-war message in there. Or... When about did you get it into doing legals? Like? Doing legals? Oh, I did my f first legal was when I was probably about 16. Um, I didn't get paid for doing a legal until I was about 18. Um, I got a, a job in North Melbourne where it was a thousand bucks and. I got like, well, at that time I thought that was a massive commission. I, I got all my friends involved. I got like 10 people in, in on it and, you know, but now, I mean, if I got a job like that, I'd probably just do it by myself, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what, what do you get out of graffiti? Like? Um, for me, it's more just, I feel like it's more of a hobby, more of an exercise. Like, for example, some every weekend you'll get, um, you know, you might go play soccer or I might go play footy or, you know, might go play, you know, go to the local chess club or whatever. For me, it's catching up with mates, yeah. painting a massive wall in the sun yeah. um, and just having a lot of creative freedom and working on a large scale. Yeah. It's just something that's, that, that really, I, for me, it's, just, it's a really good feeling to just be able to use your whole body while you're painting. Because yeah. a lot of people just sit there and draw with a canvas or whatever and they yeah. just use it and they only move their wrist. Yeah. Um. And is there a difference between graffiti now and graffiti back when you were a kid? Like, is like... uh, not a major difference um, in terms of like the graffiti graffiti scene, but of course definitely the street art scene has just completely blown up. So the difference, you know, there's stenciling everywhere now, there's things, obviously Banksy's evolved, um, he didn't really come and get that big until about five years ago. Yeah. So, and now he's just extortionate, like incredibly massive. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the major difference. But the graffiti scene, I think, is still quite similar. I mean, there was obvious bursts that were happening throughout the years, but but now it's just the street art scene is just unbelievably big. No more
Wayne. Rest in peace, Deuce One, Sub C, yeah, Deceiver.